is this actually a case of discernment or proper investigation really needs to to be done now let's get into this and it is still you know um as regards this sad trending topic about um access bank ceo albert wengwin that lost his life his son and his wife in the helicopter crash now let's talk about his essay that actually escaped death he was actually supposed to be on the helicopter with them his name was on the manifest but he insisted that it was going to go by road that he does not want to fly and now let's get into it his name is falai um olushola they all traveled together from london they went to Palm Spring in California. So when they go to Palm Spring, they are supposed to fly down to, you know, Nevada. But he insisted because it was already night. So he insisted that he was not flying, that he wants to go by road. And this has really stirred mixed reactions because some people have the opinion that why did he opt out that he was not going to fly by that he was not going to fly that he prefers to go you know by road that his name is already on the manifest that he is a suspect and should be investigated but one thing i know is that you know all of these things happened in the u.s and i will tell you of a father that yes some people love to go by road to travel by roads the roads in the u.s is not like what we have in nigeria people go a long trip people go some people prefer to go on a road trip even to long distance by road but one thing i know for sure is all of these things will definitely be investigated but do you think this is just a clear case of you know his instinct you know is the same means or he, he truly should be investigated welcome to gstip tv your home for everything entertainment to bring celebrity lifestyle news um happenings across the world we bring to you social events, you know, anything, anything at all that interests you, you're going to find it on this channel. Just go through our content. You will become glued. I promise you that. So subscribe already and click on the bell button. That is what is going to notify you of updates and interesting gist like this one when we have them for your viewing pleasure. Guy, come, come closer. Let's discuss. Let me hear what you think. I want to hear your opinion on this. So you remember the larger than life, the incredible CEO of Access Corporation, the owners of Access Bank, Herbert Wigwe, that we lost on the 10th of February 2023, just a couple of days ago, including um, some four other persons, his wife, his first son, a former chairman of the Nigerian Exchange Group, among others and then the pilot of course but the thing is his essay his assistant that's herbert's assistant he his name was on the manifest to be on the helicopter yes but he insisted that he wasn't comfortable with the weather he didn't want to travel by air he would rather travel by road so he went by road and they were supposed to meet basically at nevada now where they were going and these guys were they know they were going to palm spring in california yeah but then the helicopter crashed around um nevada in the united states of america so nigerians and some persons are now saying they need to investigate the essay that are we going to call it luck why is it that it was in the moment they were supposed to board that flight that he decided that he did not want to be on the flight the name of this man is Fale Yolushola, that's the assistant to Herbert Wigwe. And, you know, his family members himself, some of his loved ones, his loved ones will be thanking God for discernment, thanking God for luck, thanking God for intuition that he didn't get on that flight, right? And that saved his life. He narrowly escaped. I mean, this is not the first time we'll see persons who were supposed to be on a crashed airline, on a crashed, you know, this thing. And then they'll come and say, oh, just in the last minute, I missed my flight. Something happened. I couldn't make it to the airport in time. And, you know... I'm fine now. I'm good. Nothing happened to me. Even though their families at first would not, would not know. Because I'm sure that Mr. Faleo's family at first would be wondering why is why are they not mentioning Mr. Olushola's name? Do you understand? Because he was he was supposed to be on the flight. He was with his boss in you know, they were traveling together, they traveled together with his boss's family and whatnot. So 
only for him to now reach out to them and say ah, i didn't enter helicopter because the weather was not good apparently and he said it was not comfortable flying helicopter flying in the helicopter with them so he went by road and some persons are saying okay they need to investigate him he needs to come and see his own what does he know about it especially since they have been um how do I call it now? There have been reports that or people have been now have been saying that oh this was a setup and that he was actually assassinated because apparently <laughs> guys I mean I don't know a lot of persons some persons are saying this is just witch hunting this is just people trying to say something now that the man they could not accept that he actually like fate could just do that and take an incredible man from us you know because according to everything I've read and seen concerning her Mr Herbert Wigwe the late man and um, God continue to rest his soul is that he was an incredible person a fun person to work with on their aim you know access band grew um every other person he has had business dealings with i've always said now nah, i've all said nice things about him and i know that they say don't say you know terrible things about the dead but i mean not everybody can have a consensus of oh you were a good man and you know life has taken something great from us you know and at such a young age he was just 57 years old but a group on inter on the internet are now saying that oh it was assass assassinated which is why they're asking that they should question mr faleyo lushola who escaped because they are saying that there was a post that was made in october 2023 on facebook that oh somebody is after herbert wigwe's life and that they were planning something for him and they should you know ask so and so and so persons what they know about this that they had a discussion with a certain mr yusuf this one that one that one and then they now came back um, shortly after his death was announced by the Access Corporation, Access Bank, to say, okay, yeah, indeed, we've lost Herbert Wigwe. They now, that anonymous group on Facebook now also released a statement saying, we said this and in four months it has come to pass. We said that there was something was happening, but Abbott did not listen to us and look at what it cost him. But I'm like, did they, did they, did they tamper with the helicopter? Did they tamper with the weather? What exactly happened? Because <laughs> we have to ask all of those things. The American Air Force are not even saying nothing yet about the actual cost of the whole thing. And that man's helicopter crash would be the second that happened that week in that same region. In the video where we announced the um, passing on of Mr. Herbert, the sad passing on of Mr. Herbert, I mentioned that there was an, a Navy helicopter that actually crashed, that was carrying Navy people that actually crashed also in that site, and people died. So it's not him. But people are now saying, no, they should ask Mr. Fale Yolushola what he knows about it. But other persons are saying, may their souls find rest, but please, leave a man who had enough sense to protect himself alone. They are saying the guy said he was not getting on the chopper that late with the bad weather too to me that isn't a crime but since it happened in sena climbs a proper investigation into the whole matter will be conducted someone is saying shut up joe go and help them investigate we've heard a lot of scenarios like this where people escape untimely death by listening to their instinct people like you shall want trend Another person said, some call it instinct, some holy spirit. Boy, he was, he was lucky he listened to his inner spirit. Thanksgiving loading for him. Another person said, I think the aid works with his instincts because the death was an aircraft accident, which I don't think he might know, you might know what this would happen. Another person said, the guy already said the reason he didn't want to fly because it was night and the weather. Those were the two things he pointed out, even though his name was on the manifest so you see now it's quite divided some other person says is there something wrong with you this is fisi ayomi is there something wrong with you people these are the reasons they are advocating for the control of social media because most of you are abusing it at this stage Bobby bryant had same fate with his family in same country in same country yet someone decided to do same with his own family to beat traffic in an attempt to watch a game of all things this is a very avoidable death may their souls find rest please leave a man who had enough sense to protect himself alone investigate him for kinegongo mommy to your go and attend to your baby i beg once a day so <laughs> that's 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 where we are at currently but another person is saying, see this. Another person is saying, do we need to investigate this man? 
cds on getting to palm spring Olushola declined to board the ill-fated flight going to boulder city in nevada insisting that i would not travel by helicopter at night due to the weather conditions they are saying if the crash had happened in nigeria all the obingos and articulators would have criticized tinobu's administration for the crash now they all went mute because it's in america so i want to hear from you what do you guys think of the whole situation i mean personally what are you looking for it's just trying to find something to blame rather than accept that something has happened but that's not for me to decide i would like to hear from you guys do you agree with these persons that are saying press mr olushola especially with the report that we have seen on facebook or do you believe that it's just instinct it's just luck call it whatever you might want to call it but his life was preserved i would like to hear from you in the comment section thank you for watching this video guys take care of yourselves like subscribe share bye